Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Express your own divinity. Always do your best. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and to express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 311, NASDAQ up 12, SPs up 17 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $13, trading at 22.12 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $24.72 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. $81.65 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up seven ticks, trading 110.28. The 30-year, up 18 at 120.06. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading. Where'd you go? Bingo. Come on, baby. Trading up 56, 104, 347, Euro 108, Yen 151, British Pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that you have light volume, you're at highs, wants higher price. You know, you get a holiday week. I don't see this thing going lower tomorrow either. You're up a buck buck sixty, you got light volume, 36, 8, 38 million shares traded. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out coming into the close. But the bottom line is you're going into 60. Million, we did 65 million on the way down yesterday. So you can see this is very subtle. This market still wants to get to lower price, but not just yet. <laughs> that's, that's what it comes down to. And if we take a look at the Qs, it's the same setup in the Qs. What you have with the Qs, the three Qs right now, you're down 43 cents. You've done 27 million shares. And we're probably going to do uh, probably 40 million. You know, so you can, but the 40 million, you're still coming into 43 million. You know, so you're still messing around at highs. And the longer you stay at highs, the more probability is that you'll basically blow those highs away. And if we look at the calendar, what we have here, okay, so let's, let's look at this for a second. So calendar wise, yeah, we're going to come back to work and it's window dressing. That's the bottom line. Markets closed Friday. Yeah. And window dressing, folks, is, you know, a bullish occurrence. You know, it doesn't have to be all the time, but the bottom line is that, you know, eight out of ten times it's a bullish occurrence. Gold. Gold contract is in confirmed ABC structure up to the 2550 area. You also get another ABC inside an ABC inside the gold market. We've done 175,000 contracts out here, 176,000 contracts today. Bottom line. It wants higher price. We go to the silver market. We take a look at silver. Silver's lagging gold in a big way. Uh, it's up today. SIA. One second. SIA. There we go. Okay, so silver rejected lower price today at 24.45. You're at 24.72. When we did reach that high last week, that high has volume. That high is going into the downdraft that was recreated in November, and that's why it's so tough to get through that. It's going to have to get up into that level, you know, a few more times. Most of the time, it's three times it gets up there, and that's the 2650 to the 2515. That's when it had come down hard and fast on December 14th, folks, okay? That was a big number. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Happy um, St. Patty's Day, belated, and uh, happy Easter. Thank you, man, and you also. It's great to hear your yeah. voice, man. You too, you too. Uh, I've been just uh, reveling in your gold report and uh, doing some uh, energy stocks and uh, having a great time. Nice. But, uh, I want to ask a real estate question first. Yeah. Uh, the end of January, we were down uh, near Jacksonville, uh, Amelia Island. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Kind of week down there with some friends. It was great. The yeah. weather was good, or at least a lot better than Boston. But the real estate up there is like every block there's a house or two for sale. 
And uh, my buddy said, well, they bought them when it was cheap, and now they're expensive, and they're trying to sell them off. Uh, what do you think about real estate up there? I don't, you know, I don't know that well enough, Frank, to really okay. get you ahead on, on Amelia Island. I just don't. Um, yeah. what, what definitely has happened, though, is this. So, Pitcher, I can give you my take, like, from in St. Pete. So what's happened in St. Pete is this. So, Pitcher, Snell Island, folks, okay, is one of the most, uh, Snell Island in the northeast is, like, the most expensive in St. Pete. Now, what has happened in Snell Island, and this might be Amelia the same way, and it has to do with the floods, is that it's very expensive. People yeah. have lived there for a long time, and the older houses are all for sale now. But the difference is the houses are actually for sale because people are moving off them. Like, I, I'm closing on a house, and I got the full price I wanted, and what ended up happening is that these people are coming off Snell Island because they don't want to deal with the floods anymore. And they just know it's a matter of time. So that might be happening at Amelia Island also. You know what I mean? That people uh -huh. got in at three or 400000 The house, you know, that would have been 15 years ago, folks. And now the houses are all worth a million. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, okay. it, it's, seri uh -huh. it's serious business down here with the flooding. More, more than the wind. You know, the, the flooding is a big deal yeah. because there's been so many places that have been built on swampland, period. <laughs> you know, so it's like, okay, what do you want, you know? So. I know. I'm, you know, I'm in the fire real estate fund. I always look at a map of uh, a house you're going to give me, and uh, it's always well above the flood level. So that's nice. Yes. So yep. BVN, right? Uh, yeah, Buena Ventura. Let's take a look at it. So the low six, the high 17, and this equity here, folks, you know, basically pulls... You know, gold, silver, zinc, a lot out of the ground. Now, do you own this? You're looking to buy it, Frank. No, I'm looking to buy it. It had this huge jump back in uh, December or so. Yeah. What I would do, you know, right now, I'd wait for a pullback. And, Frank, I can come back to this. I get Fred Ernest coming on next, but I'll come back to this as soon as that interview's over, okay? I'll be listening. Cool, man. Have a great one, Frank. Have a safe one. Thanks for calling. Stay right there, folks. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, 